was actually living in Bournemouth and um, I was staying with a friend that used to collect hats and uh, he had hats from all over, the, all over the place basically whatever and that and I said to him one day, I said, oh, I said, could I t would you mind if I told him some of your caps and stuff whatever and he said, yeah, go ahead. Put on a couple of hats, one from Australia and one from me and one from there, whatever and that. And um, I put on a flat cap and he said, cool, he said, you look like Norman Wisdom. I said, nah, nah, because I didn't really know who Norman Wisdom was then, like. He said, well, if you don't believe me, go over to the mirror and have a look. So I went over to the mirror and sort of went, and I thought, cool, yeah, yeah, who? And I've been doing it ever since. And that was way back in 1981. I've actually been sacked from 23 jobs because I've got a, I've obviously got a, a sort of inbuilt comic sort of tendency. So everything that I do is always, it's always been a disaster, and I've never had a job more than oh, a couple of months, or whatever. And I've always been you know, showing the door, um, and I'm not really a worker. I'm a performer, really. Uh, and we have, in fact, you know, with me, me, my wife and that, we sat down there. Oh God, perhaps I ought to go and get a job, but then I look through the papers and whatever, and I can't find anything really the grasp and the other problem is with it because people obviously would know who especially in the local area they know who you are uh, couple of, I could go there sort of like dead serious whatever and don't want nobody to know what I do but someone's only got to make a comment God, don't you look like Norman Wisdom of course then I'm on it then of course it's funny you should say that because a lot of people do tend to say and then I'll be off then and I'll probably be showing the door by the end of the week right well I've got three jackets the first one this is me Norman Wisdom jacket all right and uh, I've got trousers that match, and uh, it's a complete suit, well, apart from the waist, uh, waist uh, coat, whatever, but uh, here we go. I'm going to whip it on for you like this. And there it goes. Oh, oh, I nearly, oh, I nearly fell over then. See, it's starting to work, isn't it? There, and I'll put the other arm in. Oh, 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 like that. And there we go. I'm going to do... I've even got a little button in the buttonhole that uh, Norman's got on his suit. So... There we go, I'll get that nice and tidy, and of course, I should put my hat on. All right, this is my hat. And there we go. I hope I've got it the right way round, because sometimes you might have it that way or that way. But we'll have it like this for the moment. And then, as you can see, oh, yeah, I want the money first. Anyone who takes me for a fool is making no mistake. Mr Grimsdale! This is uh, my second jacket now, and this has uh, recently been made for me. As you can see, it's in shocking pink, all right? And this is what Cliff Richard actually started his career with. He actually started with a pink jacket, so I'm going to put this on like so, all right? And uh, I think she's done a good job. Thanks very much, Jenny. Superb. And uh, I shall rip it on there, like that. Perhaps do a button, a little button up here. And uh, if I can find them, I might just happen to have, which I have, a pair of glasses. And I should whip them on, get the hair sorted. <clears throat> Hi fans, my name is Cliff, and uh, I'd like to say that uh, I've got some good news and some bad news. First, the good news. Tonight on the show, we've got a superb star, and now the bad news. <laughs> I turned up. This is my third jacket. This is an unusual jacket, because as I bring it in, you can see that one half is Czech, and the other half is pink. Now, there is method in me madness, because as I put this on, you will see that... I'm almost like a schizophrenic look-alike, because on one half, I'm Norman, all right? But on the other half, automatically, I'm Cliff. So, here we, I'm going to do this here like that, whatever, and uh, let's see if we can get them together, having a bit of a conversation. I'm just getting my oh, props out, Mr Grimsdale. And over here... <coughs> hey, here, now Cliff. Now, I want you to know that you might be a good singer, but I am a terrific comedy actor. <clears throat> yes, Norman, we do know that. And, of course, I am the Peter Pan, as everyone knows, the Peter Pan of rock and roll. And may rock and roll live on forever. Well, the funny thing is, um, the Cliff Richard came about because I used to be an Elvis fan, for those that would like to know. I was an out-and-out -out Elvis Presley fan. In fact, my middle name was Elvis. I used to go out as Glenn Elvis Ford. And, um, uh, oh, I can't remember when it was now, but I actually went into a recording studio in London 
to cut a single called Blue Moon. And uh, I was, it was while I was in the studio, the engineer came over and whatever, and, that, and he said, um, he said, I don't know about Elvis Presley, so it's more like Cliff Richard. In fact, I was actually upset by that, um, whatever. But it, obviously, it, it sort of stuck, and it registered a little bit. And uh, that's how the Cliff came about, and I've been doing that for quite a... In fact, I'm actually building it up now, I'm working on it now, to make it quite an integral part of the act. I can't, I can't get away from being Norm Wisdom, and uh, by the same token, I can't get away from being Cliff, because that's, that's good. Because it, it makes me sound educated in the right sort of environment I walk in. Hi there, especially like petrol stations. Oh, hi there, good afternoon. I just popped in to get some petrol. And the people, they sort of, you can hear them, their little ears, you can feel their little ears pricking up, whatever, and that. Whatever. Well, I'll get some, sometimes I get some funny looks, whatever, and that. People think, well, this guy must be off his rocker. Whatever. Perhaps I am. At the end of the day, I don't know. Okay, this is me new business cards, all right? Cliff Wisdom, all right? Singer, comedian, impressionist, vocal impressionist, comedy actor, all right? Cliff Wisdom compliment slips. Can you see that? Okay, here we go. Can you see those? They're my new photographs, all right? Note the name, Cliff Wisdom, all right? But as you can see in the picture, I don't actually look like Norman Wisdom, and I don't actually look like Cliff Richard, all right? Which means that when I go or get booked into a club, it doesn't give the game away. Or the, 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 the name might. The name might give the game away, but the picture itself won't. Whatever. But I love the name. Fell in love with the name. And the reason why I came up with the name and decided to actually go for it is because Cliff Richard recently got knighted and Norman Wisdom actually got an OBE on the same day. And uh, for those that can remember, it was in all the papers, Cliff Richard, Norman Wisdom together. And I had a gut feeling. In fact, when I went to get the newspapers, I actually came home crying, I had tears in my eyes, because I thought, I've got to use this name. I felt like I was being told to use the name Cliff Wisdom. Much more than this.